Hello fellow Linux gamers, this is Keith here, aka GhostSquad57, and today I'm taking a look at Besiege by Spiderling. Um, now, the uh, objective of Besiege uh, varies from level to level, but the basic, basically you are, uh, you build what the game refers to as a robot, and then you sort of destroy buildings, you know, maybe kill a set number of people, just really basic stuff like that. Anyway, yeah, go into the options here, you have uh, basic options. Um, for some reason, the game always tends to disable things like blood, shadows, and depth of field and stuff like that whenever I launch the game. And even when I click on it, um, as soon as I close the game and open it back up, it'll sort of have these options unchecked. I'm not sure why that is. Uh, I do believe this is a Unity game. Um, so, yeah. But performance is bad, considering. So, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and this is sort of how you uh, pick where you want to go. You can right-click to rotate. I actually like this interface. find that it's very unique. So, yeah, go ahead and click on... Ypsilon, ruled by Queen Winifrith, Winifrith, Winfrith, hmm. Anyway, yeah, we're just going to go to the first zone here, and just sort of give you guys a basic overview. You do get a little tutorial, um, but we're not going to need that. Um, so yeah, this is the uh, core of your machine here. This is sort of what you uh, attach stuff to. There's a little bit of texture flick bugging out going on there. I zoom in and out, that's strange. Anyway, yeah, you sort of come down here and you get to choose uh, what category of block you want to place. You know, you have uh, flight, you know, things for aviation, armor for defending your vehicle, weaponry, mechanical stuff, locomotive, blocks, and basic. Um, so yeah, the basic objective is for this area, you know, destroy this little cottage here. So what we're going to do is just sort of build this really basic vehicle. You have some things you can do up here too, like, you know, sort of click and drag to rotate where you want its starting position to be. We can reset rotation. Uh, set machine on ground. That's another objective. Uh, translate machine, which is... Uh, I've never done that before. That was strange. You can also do things like erase blocks. You know, if you hover over the block and hit X, it'll erase it. Key mapper, which I'm not sure what this is. Uh, oh, you can map it to different keys. Okay. Oh, that's neat. Map the uh, to where I hit a different key, it does a different function. That's interesting. Uh, and then we can also destroy machine entirely so if we just want to start over. Uh, we could redo, undo, uh, save that design, load it, and uh, yeah, just basic stuff like that. Um, anyway, yeah, we can also enable cheats over here. I think it's around here. Um, yeah, we have cheats down here in case you know you're having trouble and you sort of want to screw around, or if, yeah, or if you just want to screw around, zoom in here. Or wait, no, that's what is this? Not sure what this is. Oh, sliders bugging out. Just time scale. Okay, so that is time. Oh anyway, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and put some wooden blocks down, sort of make a really basic vehicle that serves no purpose, but they go straight. And we have a steering hinge here, so we can put this down to where. You see here, pressing left, the uh, left and right arrow keys will steer my wheels. So, without that, if you just put wheels on your vehicle, it'll just go straight without you being able to really turn it. Um, so yeah, let's just put these here. And then we can go ahead and hit space. And then use the arrow keys. Woo! Yeah, look at that. What a, what a fantastic invention. Oh, oh, there it goes. Oh, it was still going. Okay, there goes that. <laughs> Yeah, so that is the uh, first zone. Fairly easy, you know, nothing too complex there. Now we're uh, tasked with destroying this like sort of um, cottage here with a with a windmill on it. That actually seems like a really poor placement for a uh, windmill because you know that is sort of in front of your door. You would have to you know wait a little bit. Let's see if this machine will work. I'm sure it will. Oh, ah, nope, that's not gonna work. So we can do things like. Um, Let's, oh no, that one's a bit too big. Let's put a smaller block. Uh, let's put a cannon on it, weaponry. Let's see here. Uh, cannons are always fun, there we go. Let's see if that's big enough. I think C, yeah, there we go, hit C and it shoots the cannon. I think I might need to put a bigger block up there. I don't know if I left enough room for the cannon. Um, let's put it right here. Uh, this should be good. Okay, 
Let's see how good this goes. WASD controls the sort of camera when you're in this mode. Boom! Oh, look at it. And the cannon came right off. Fantastic. Exactly what I was going for. Um, so yeah, now that we're done with this zone, we can go to a next one. And this is sort of a different objective where you have to get your, uh, your, um, robot to the, uh, insignia over there. So we're gonna take the cannon off as it's no longer really necessary. Uh, we can also do fun things like attach these metal spikes. Oh no, these are better, the drills to the side of our wheels here, so that way they'll spin as we drive. And we can do things like put a flamethrower. Um, and all these are activated by keys, like a little water cannon here. Let's just deck this thing out, just to sort of give you guys an idea of all the craziness we can do. Um, we can put a torch. Um, I'm not quite sure what that is. I think that's for activating something, I don't know. Remote grenade, holder, you can put this up here. Put a bomb in it. And then when that falls down, it'll explode on impact. Put uh, some circular saws. Yeah, there we go. This is this is exactly. Uh, let's see if I can't put these out. It might be. Oh, this is an awful idea. What am I even doing right now? <laughs> um, I don't know. Do that. Put this here. There we go. Okay, I got sort of an idea now. Zoom in a little bit. There, there we go. Uh, and I can put circular saw there. There we go. This is a death machine right here. We can also do things like um, take these braces here and you know drag between two points to sort of strengthen it. Um, so that way there's sort of a connection so the pieces of wood won't come off very easily. Let's actually do that for these, because these arms will, right here, will fall right off. Wow, that is a very short distance right there. Wow, I didn't make that evenly. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, let's brace all this, and let's go! Oh! <laughs> oh, wow, oh, wow. Uh, yeah, that went, uh... Let's water cannon. Let's hit all the buttons. Oh wow, that went. Uh, that went much better than I expected it would actually. Uh, yeah, let's just let's see what the problem there was. I think that was it was the bomb. Yeah, there we go. Oh oh oh. <laughs> oh, hit the hit the flamethrower. There we go. Flamethrower, go. Water cannons activated. Okay, okay. Yeah, uh, let's just get rid of all this crazy nonsense. Well, let's keep this nonsense right here. These these circular saws. I really like them. Oh oh. Yes, this is how we will go to victory. <laughs> oh, perfect. Marvelous. Okay, that's that's enough fooling around. Let's just get to the end. Okay, let's see if I can't. Oh, I still got my water cannons. Yes, perfect. Oh, yeah, you avoid the bombs here. Oh, oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, yeah, so that's, um, that's Besiege. It's definitely a pretty fun game. Uh, it's, you know, if you're a fan of, like, building simulators and stuff like that, it can be, it can be a very fun game. Um, you know, it's not that expensive. I think it's, let me check how much it is on Steam. Yeah, so here you go, you know, it's five fifty nine on sale right now. And you see it has almost overwhelming positive reviews, you know, over 13,000 reviews. So overwhelmingly positive, too. This is here, 97% of all the reviewers for this game uh, have rated it positive. Um, and, you know, when it's not on sale, it's 8 bucks. So I would definitely say that that's uh, worth the asking price. It's a pretty fun game. Uh, runs well on Linux. I haven't had any type of technical issues at all. You can get it on the Hum Bundle Store. Uh, as well as Steam, and I assume, yep, that the Humble Bundle version comes without uh, any DRM. So that's pretty interesting. Um, yeah, you can pay with PayPal and uh, Amazon Payments using the Steam Store, and it gives you the minimal specifications here. So anyway, yeah, this has been uh, Keith, aka Ghost Squad 57, uh, taking a look at The Siege by Spiderling. Uh, it's a fantastic game. Would recommend it. Thank you guys for watching. Ghost Squad 57. Signing out.